ओके मयंक पराशरीज बाय आई हैव स्टार्टेड एज प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट रोल इन डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अर्लियर आई वाज इन रियल एस्टेट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट व्हाट शुड बी माय नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स फॉर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट फॉर अ लार्ज यूजर ऐप अगेन आई थिंक मयंक वेरी सिमिलर एक्सरसाइज इफ यू रियली वांट टू फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द कंपनीज दैट यू आर एसेंशियली इंटरेस्टेड इन व्हिच यू फील लाइक सो लेट मी पुट अ लेट मी डू अ स्मॉल थिंग फॉर यू ठीक है ये इट माइट बी हेल्पफुल सो गाइस कीप नोटिसिंग आई एम डूइंग इट लाइव इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू और तब तक जिसने वीडियो लाइक नहीं किया लाइक कर लो मैं पहले ही बता रहा हूं ठीक है सो लेट्स अज्यूम यू आर अ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर लेट्स मेक अ प्रोजेक्ट प्लान अब तुम्हारे कुछ स्किल सेट्स हैं तुम्हारे स्किल सेट्स हैं प्रोबेबली यू नो हाउ टू यूज जीरा एंड मेक अ गैंट चार्ट फॉर इन व्हिच यू डिवाइड एबिलिटीज टू इंजीनियर इंजीनियर्स डिजाइनर्स व्हाटएवर एंड व्हाटनॉट ठीक है तो यहां पे तुम अपने स्किल्स लिखना शुरू करो ठीक है वट एल्स डू यू नो यू नो वायर फ्रेमिंग यू प्रोबेबली नो अफ यू अदर थिंग्स ठीक है मे बी हाउ टू यूज एनालिटिक्स टूल्स सच एस क्लेवर टैप मो एंगेज एंड वट एवर ठीक है सबसे पहले तो तुमने स्किल्स नोट कर लिए स्किल्स के बाद तुम बोलो यार कि ये सारी जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग है मेरी किस इंडस्ट्री की है ठीक है नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर वर्किंग इन रियल एस्टेट इंडस्ट्री I used to work in the real estate industry. I used to work for Magic Bricks, but still telling you across. Okay, real estate. Me, you have worked. Okay, so when you have noted this thing, now you have three options. Now you, now you essentially want to become a product manager, right? So what you do is, first of all, define that what is my passion. Now, passion is a very broad statement, but passion means what? In a very simple term, anything that you enjoy doing. If I tell you today, like honestly, tell me, guys, tell me what are the things that you like? जो तुम spare time में कर सकते हो. It can be watching a movie. It can be as thing as like. जो anything, even if you spend considerable amount of time, you just relish it. Just write it on the chat box. Just say, for me, it's honestly learning more about prime numbers, listening to podcasts. Okay, that is one. Listening to music. thinking of crazy idea like uber for school students listening and understanding mythological contents very cool garima very cool similar similar as mine the first thing that you do here is you just note it down like for example for me it's teaching mathematics theek okay? hai then learning about music theek okay? hai and probably mm, uh, learning about religion whatever theek okay? hai Up, I know these things are like open-ended, right? What I essentially do as the next step is I will be curious and see that what is the size of these industries, like teaching mathematics, learning about music, and I know that teaching mathematics there is a company called QMath, there is a company called my company Bhanzu, there can be multiple other companies, or there can be a startup which you want to start. Learning about music, there is a company, there used to be a company called Kite. there might be there's a company called spark studio and learning about religion there can be multi, there can be startups like astro talk which are again similar to our ideology and whatever and what not right now you are curious the third thing that you do is you would essentially check out their products and based on your passion that you essentially feel that okay mathematics could be taught this way also right like i have always believe been a very very strong believer that mathematics should be taught with the history of mathematics essentially what i do is i check out their products and say that okay these products are like this and there can there's a scope of scope of doing it scope of building something new around it okay and then there is ye kiya then build some kind of a proof document ab ye maine kyun karwaya tumse and you build a prd around here and whatever and what not now you essentially tell that based on the skills that i have right and probably the industry that i understand and the kind of interests that i have how do i essentially leverage those skills and build a better product right like for example if you understand wireframing jira etc and analytics tools you can just say that okay this is the kind of product that i believe in and i'm writing based on how i will track analytics will help how i will build wireframing will help how i will uh, uh, essentially uh, make a gantt chart how a structure the execution jira will help and i will all try to use those kind of tools and i will work on the skill sets which are not my strengths 
which are not my strengths. Which are like product sense. Right? So I will keep building that product sense and I keep building these assignments in those passion wala areas. And passion doesn't have to be something. I have changed my passion probably like 20 times in the last eight years, right? But I was very clear that if I am doing something which I essentially like, I will never feel like that I'm working for a random company. I will always enjoy that work because I enjoy the problem in itself, right? Great structure would be that if you enjoy the industry, you are in itself. And if you are in real estate, right, then it becomes even more good, even more better, right? So all I'm trying to put across here is that you start from by looking at your passion, take it as a product sense statement and say that what are the companies who are trying to solve this in the industry? And I essentially want to build something better for them so that they can move to a better kind of scope or better kind of product. And if you keep doing that, whenever you get an opportunity there, and if you go there, you'll actually learn. Right? Ye baat sabko samajh mein aai? Ki basically, you don't have to do anything. When you talk about passion, don't even think about this, ki whether it's viable, whether it's not. Take anything that you like. Right? And just build a structure around it. Ki hayar, ki okay, I am passionate about this. I'm curious what products are there in the industry. I want to check out what are their products. I want to check out if their product lacks something, can I build something there? And the last thing is, what are not my strengths? I will learn that and build product sense over there. Make sense? Here is aligned hai. Sir, where and how we can create a portfolio for a new person entering or transitioning from data analyst? You can do it on Notion. My portfolio is very available. Please check it out. It will be amazing. Uh, so, so bear, it will be better that you check out the other videos. Okay. okay. So, after having certifications courses done, but still not able to think as a PM, appeared for 16 APM interviews, don't have con confidence in strategy and design questions. How should I start thinking as a PM? Yar dekho. It's not about having certifications, right? It's about practice, right? I have given, why do I give a problem towards the end of, and probably like five or six people actually do those problems, right? Abagar, one of the problems that I essentially feel is that if you do too many things, na, doing too many things at the same time is wrong. Like one of the pitfalls when you become a product manager, you feel like that if too many products are given to me, that means I'm giving given more power. Doesn't work like that. Right. So quarks, what I would recommend is that just focus on the core skills and solve all the problems that I put across. And when once I will create a community, tum sab ke jitne bhi assignments hai, community mein dala karunga, so that everybody sees it. Everybody understands from it. Right. So <coughs> consistently keep practicing products and questions. There is no other answer to it. Once you build an ability to do that, you will automatically be able to do it well in an interview. And once I come create a community, we will essentially try to do mock interviews and stuff like that so that you become more and more proficient over there. Okay. okay. What is the next question is Prabhu Kulkarni's. How do you transition from scrum master to a product management? Any program, six to 11 month wireframes that can build up skills, maybe be interview ready. I think there are programs. There is an IM Cozy Code program. You can join. It's a 12 month program. There are a lot of long programs, but it's not about the length of the program. I think it's more about most of the topics are kind of readily available. It's more on the lines of the how you build the core ambiguous skill sets. And that will be very useful for all of you. Okay. okay. Awesome. Sir, IT industry will become the next UPSC. That, that number of jobs will decrease as AI is there. And there is a lot of, lot of fresh college grad. Yar, Shivendu, honestly, aisa nahi hoga. Main ye nahi bolta ki AI, see, AI is going to take most of our execution oriented tasks. Agreed. But will it take away the creative liberty of... So, how many of you... Okay, let me ask this interesting question. How many of you know about the Turing test? How many of you know about the Turing test? The Turing test was set up by Alan Turing. Alan Turing basically kya karta hai? He, he takes two blocks, uh, two rooms. Ek ke insan hai, ek ke computer hai. Theke? So, there's a person I'm sitting outside. And now, essentially, I have to ask questions to both the rooms. Right. And if the computer asks my all answers, my all questions based on context, right. And is able to give them good answers, right. And genuinely logical answers, right. That, so you would probably not be able to distinguish where is the machine and where is the computer, where is the human, right. That is when you say that a machine has 
basically crossed the Turing test. Can a computer essentially act like a human? Right? AI today is at a point where most trivial tasks or directional tasks would be done by them. No questions asked. You're trying. Like making a design? For sure. Making a wireframe? For sure. Right? Yes. That's what the Turing test said. Right? There are very limited machines across the globe, which has not even ChatGPT could do the Turing test. Right? There is a lot of, there's a lot of progress there for sure. Right? I'm not saying there's not a lot of progress. There is a lot of progress. Right? But more than that, right? If computers are not at a point, at least in the next 20, 30 years, it's not going to be a point where it's become like becoming like an AGI. As people say that there will be artificial general intelligence. I don't think so. Right? There are a lot of, if you look at from a mathematics point of view, there are a lot of things that computers can't do. Right? So from a learning perspective, the creative structures of thinking will not change. Right? That is something that humans are good at. We are contextually good at horizontal thinking. Right? That is something that computers will not be able to do. As of now, I'm not saying it will not happen in the future. I'm saying as of now, it will not be able to do that. So most AI is going to aid you in doing the right things. So think of AI as a support system, not necessarily as something that improves your creating thinking ability, right? Most why people are afraid that AI will take their jobs because they, they completely render themselves on skills. Why do I want to work Wireframing is a skill set that anybody can do. Learning from problems and then learning a skill is fine. But learning a skill and expecting that it's going to lead me to some kind of a thinking paradigm is so wrong at so many levels. Right? I wrote a post long back that for a product manager, learning should be the other way around. Like you go to a problem, you see your landing page has a poor conversion, then you should understand, okay, design is a problem, I might have to learn design. Or if you feel that your API failure is very high, right? Then you probably go, go down and say that I want to learn system design, right? But it, it doesn't have to be that I will learn system design and that's why I will get into a PM role. Not the other way around, right? Skills are there to aid you. They are not to improve or prosper your thinking. Prospering your thinking is genuinely about based on first principles and axiomatic structures. As simple as that. Elon Musk chahta to koi bhi battery le sakta tha China se. Usne apni battery khud kiyo design ki? Kyunki usne bola mein first principle se sochunga ki koon se physics ke elements hai. Which are the elements which will give me high energy retention. Right? And I'll build something like that. That's why Tesla has their own batteries. So first principles matter everywhere. Right? Skills are probably like a layer on top of it. Okay. In order to execute what my hypothesis is, I need this skill. Right? Make sense? Awesome. Amazing. So Anthrax, Astrax Gaming is saying, I'm working on a deck to secure an interview at a startup to give an interview opportunity as an associate product manager. What should be my approach? What are the important things to add in the deck? I think four or five things. What is the problem statement? How large is the problem statement? What are the core, what are the core user personas of that problem statement? Then simultaneously, how do you prioritize those personas coming from that particular part? Then how do you prioritize the problems in those personas? And simultaneously, then you essentially go to a point, then you essentially suggest solutions, say, how do I prioritize those solutions? What's impact versus ROI can be a good method to do that. If you do that, and then you essentially move to metrics. What are the metrics? How will measure them? And probably if you can set targets around it, that's super good. If you can build a deck like that, I think it works, right? It completely works. Sure. So next is Sam Nakarto. I have been working in SEO for the last three years and would transition into BM. I have cracked an opportunity to become a product intern. Should I go? Bilkul bhai, bilkul. Jao. Yaar dekho. Kabhi, so yesterday there was a guy who called me and said that uh, Bhaiya, I have a product intern opportunity, should I join? But I feel that the opportunity would be like an operations intern, but it's on paper, it's a product intern. So what dude? It's fine. That's exactly what I'm saying. It doesn't matter whether you go into a company which is not teaching you initially product management for the first six months. At least you are closer to the consumer. And whatever I've taught you here, why don't you apply? Agar devo opportunity nahi de ra, khud to kar sakte ho na yaar. So if tomorrow, if you understand a skill set based on the roles of a company and you understand there is a better thing, like for example, I learn in, I work in Banzu and I essentially feel the founder is not aligned, aligned with me, probably on a certain direction of thought. What I can essentially do is I can take my learnings, put it out in a, some kind of an additional project that I do and take it to the next company, probably where I want to join and say, this is what I think. 
राइट सो प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट तुम्हें अगर प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट या वे ऑफ थिंकिंग सीखना है वो एक जगह से नहीं होता और तुम्हें अगर अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रही है तो तुम जाओ और कम से कम तुम्हारे लिए ये होगा कि यू आर स्टेइंग क्लोजर टू द कंज्यूमर यू अंडरस्टैंड देयर पेन पॉइंट्स यू एक्चुअली लर्न प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट यू आल्सो हैव सम काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सपीरियंस वेयर यू कैन एसेंशियली शो दैट इवन दो आई डिडंट डू इट इन माय कंपनी आई बिल्ड समथिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट एंड यू गेट अ पीएम रोल देन फॉर श्योर how important is affecting influence in an organization i wasn't very successful in the first four four years as a pm i think your influence always comes from very good question actually influence always is a factor of how kind of what kind of wins have you put across like for example when i joined any organization my role is not to make like radically new decisions and say that this is great and that is great and this is what i build and whatever and what not right my role is very simple can i take very small small things and consistently do that right like for example if i took a very small project and i essentially made it better in some way right in some way and i did that right and it shows some metrics to the organization then people become more and more inclined towards you that okay this guy took a small project delivered it well then took another project delivered it well slowly and steadily and you always and have this ability where you say that whatever i deliver right is the effort of my team give credit to everyone right simultaneously if people are saying that your team suffered you stand in between and say that why do you think my team my team did a wrong job it's probably my strategic plan when when you stand up for people give them visibility of their work simultaneously show them the outcomes of their work slowly and steadily aaj main apne kisi bhi pm ko raat ko 3 baje call karu na because i give them autonomy i give them enough leeway to think wo 3 baje bhi mera phone uthayenge yaar khushi khushi uthayenge that's how it works right so long i will do a lecture on how do you essentially build influence in an organization ye bhi ek acha topic hai to hum karenge kabhi theek hai okay to so, aisa karte hain ki at least in my group in the way i want to teach i don't just want to teach you about product management let's talk about general things in life and let's become better in our thinking to abstract random concepts in life that's what i want to do and slowly and steadily jab wo hoga na trust me you will become all become great product managers thank you very much guys we'll meet next week we'll come up with a topic we'll try to kisi ko lagta hai ki koi acha topic cover karna hai send it to me i some have i i have some thoughts from my end but ideally i would say agar tumhare bhi recommendation aate it's a good thing ठीक है अमेजिंग फॉक्स ऑसम सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक बाय बाय